Hey everybody, so today I am bringing you my 2017 beauty favorites. So these are all of my favorite items that I have tried in the year of 2017. So basically, I'm going to try to not repeat my like holy grail items. So like you won't hear me talking about like Nick Set It and Don't Fret It or like the Elf Acne Fighting Foundation or my Steely Style Stylist Liner. Like these are all, I tried to pick things that either I discovered this year or that came out this year which is kind of one and the same but you know what I mean I tried to pick stuff that is relatively new to me and <laughs> I have a lot of shit right here so um yeah let's just get right into it so I'm just going to go in the order of like how I would do my makeup and then at the end I have a couple couple random things but we're gonna get through the makeup first so if you want to see my 2017 cruelty free beauty favorites then just keep watching so first we're gonna start just how I apply my makeup the first thing I do is apply a moisturizer and Osea, I think that's how you pronounce it. I can't fucking pronounce it for the life of me. Osea has been a huge favorite of mine this year. Both their Ocean Cleanser, their Blemish Balm, which is the moisturizer that I'm talking about. I love this stuff. It keep, keeps my skin clear. It hydrates my skin. It feels nice and tingly and minty and just amazing on the skin. This is my second bottle. I absolutely love this stuff. It goes amazing. It's a great nighttime moisturizer. It's a great everyday moisturizer before makeup. So I just have to shout it out because Osea has been just a huge favorite this whole year. I use their serum. I use their moisturizer. I use their face masks. I love this line of skincare so I will have it linked down below but or I'll have everything listed down below um but I just had to give uh this skincare brand this skincare brand and this particular item a huge shout out again it's the blemish balm it is so good next I have two standout foundations from this year and these should come to no surprise to anybody first is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation this is the foundation that I'm wearing today in Oh, this foundation is so good. This is so full coverage, so lightweight on the skin. It just makes your skin look baby smooth and spreads out so nicely, blends so nicely. I'm in the shade 12 Ivory. There is a shade lighter than this, but this is actually like a pretty, pretty decent match. It could maybe be a little bit lighter, but once I put on concealer, it's fine. Um, this lasts all day. It doesn't get oily. And even when it gets a little bit oily, it doesn't break apart. It just looks like your skin is just like dewy and luminous. You know, some foundations, when they get oily, they look nasty. This one, even when it when it gets oily, still doesn't look nasty. So Marc Jacobs is remarkable. It is expensive as shit, but just look for any sales you can. Sephora, VI, VIB, anything get a sample of it. I love this foundation so, so, so much. Oh, and don't apply, don't apply too much of that foundation. If you apply too much, you will look like a literal birthday cake, but if you just apply a little bit and spread it out, mmm! Mm. Next foundation, again, should come to no surprise, is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. Bare Minerals is just one brand that I feel like gets slept on a lot of the time, and I feel like it's because, you know, their products are kind of hit and miss, but this foundation is absolutely beautiful. I'm in the shade 03 Champagne. This has a very, very thin consistency, but it's packed with pigment. It's a great everyday medium to full coverage. I'd say it's more on the full side, but it can definitely be sheared down to a medium finish. This lasts all day. Again, it doesn't really break apart. It's just so, so, so good. And this color match is like flawless. If you're ever like, hmm, I wonder what, what Katie's skin actually looks like. Go swatch this and this is what my skin color looks like. I swear it's perfect. I'm going to go through these relatively quickly just because if you are on my channel then you have already heard me talk about a lot of these. So I'm going to go through them relatively quickly, especially because there is a shit ton of shit right here. Next for concealer. Now there was really one concealer that is like stand out. I love this concealer and it is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. As you can see, I have gone through it. I actually have a backup in these drawers right here. I'm in the shade Fair 5. It's a beautiful fair, like fair concealer with yellow undertones. I would say if you're like more pale than me this might not work for you just because it is more yellow in undertone um and i know like vegan beauty addict had troubles with it but i love this concealer it's a concealer i'm wearing today i tried to wear as many of these things as i can it's so good it's so lightweight it's so full coverage i love it it doesn't like break apart my oily skin it doesn't crease it just is again just very packed with pigment i love this, this concealer the one thing do not try to prime your eyes with this if you have oily eyelids i tried this as a primer just like well, okay this will be fine and I decided to try to do a black smoky eye to work that day and it looked so 
bad by the end of the day. So just use a different eyeshadow primer or a different concealer when you're using this all over your face and you'll be fine. But this concealer is so good, so cheap, so bomb. Okay, I actually have three setting powders to talk to you guys about. The first is the Kat Von D blotting powder. I first heard Kathleen Lights talk about this and oh man, as you can see, it is well loved. This is about to go in an empties bin. This is so beautiful on your under eyes and just like all over your face. It blurs out any imperfections. It smooths out texture. It has it has some color to it, which I like. I don't like putting translucent powders on my under eyes. I really like, this has just like a soft yellow tint. I'm in the shade light, by the way. There is a more fair shade than this as well. There is something in my eye. There is a more fair shade than this too. So if this is too dark for you, there is a fair shade and then there's a deeper shade as well. But this just like makes any lines or imperfections or anything just disappear here. It also, it is a blotting powder, so it's really, really oily skin friendly. As you can see, like I said, I need another one. I love this stuff so, so, so much. And even if you don't have oily skin, give this a try for setting your under eyes or just like setting your face in general. Absolutely. This is probably going to end up being one of my holy grail items once I go through maybe another one. Um, but I, um, mm, I love it so much. Next setting powder that I would say maybe isn't 100% of a dupe. Like I love it so much, but I I still would probably pick the Kat Von D. But this is like a really really close second. Is the Elf finishing powder. Now y'all never see this on my channel. I think I've talked about it once in a favorites video like forever ago. Um, that's because I keep this in my purse, and this is the powder that I use to touch up through the day. Like this is like my everyday. Oh, I have lipstick on my teeth. That's cute. This is what I keep in my purse to touch up through the day. I have the shade Fair slash Light. This is what I use to set my under eyes today, and it is just so smooth so buttery actually it you know it is it's like almost extremely extremely similar to the Kat Von D I would just say that Kat Von D's is a little bit more smoothing so if you have a lot of texture or fine lines I would reach for this one but this one I would try they're so similar I don't know you guys the color is really similar um this goes oh this is such a soft powder um but this goes just right on top of foundation so easily like you don't even have to blot even though you should blot before you apply powder to touch up you don't even have to like it, it just puts like goes on on like messed up foundation so well so like my foundation is just like sliding around and just being nasty I'll just take a little powder puff and just dab it on and it looks so smooth and flawless I absolutely love it again give this a try I know I got vegan beauty addict hooked on this stuff it's so good next is another one that you guys don't see me using on my channel a lot and that's because I use this again in every day because when I'm when I'm filming a lot of the time I film and I wash it off and go to bed I film a lot of the time at night so I don't really go out in the makeup looks that I film in so the the powder that I'm about to talk about is something that I use every day before work or before a long day and I don't use it on my channel because I want to save it for days where I actually like want my foundation to last all day does that make sense anyways this is the urban decay velvetizer i do have a first impression of this like trying to mix it into a foundation that i will link down below i don't use it for that even though it is amazing for that i just use this to set my face and it is so beautiful oh my gosh it is so it is seriously the thinnest softest powder i have ever ever tried it is so good and you don't even need as much like I usually like pack on the powder like I like cake it on there but this you barely need anything to set your face because it just spreads so so far it makes your skin so soft and so silky so like I said I don't set this I don't use this in videos to set my face because I'm just gonna end up washing it off 20 minutes later I use this to set my face in my every single day life because this makes my foundation last so well it doesn't make me oily and just I I don't need a lot of it to set my entire face. Okay, we have the base done. Let's get on to some blush, bronzer, and highlight. Well, okay, I don't really have a blush. Y'all know I'm not a huge blush person, and while I, like, love the BH Cosmetics blush palette that I just got, and I love, like, a couple individual blushes, there were no blushes that just, like, really stood out to me, so I'm just going to skip it. If you guys watch my channel, you know what some of my favorite blushes are. I love the Urban Decay Blush in Rapture. I love my e.l.f. blushes, and I love, like I said, that BH Cosmetics cosmetics um, blush palette but there was just no blushes that I was just like I need to talk about this like I feel about the rest of the products here so sorry if you're a huge blush junkie but it's just not nothing anyways let's move on I have two bronzer contour things the first I feel like I've talked about 
a lot, but I'm just going to say it again because I feel like this is so underrated, especially if you are a pale princess, you need to get the Makeup Geek Cool or Warm Porcelain Contour. The Cool Porcelain Contour, if you are like very, very fair, amazing, absolutely amazing. <gasps> no! Oh, it's because it's refillable. That's okay. It's okay. It's fine. I love the Makeup Geek Warm Porcelain Contour. Again, if you have been on my channel for a really long time, then you will know that I love this. It's the like bronzer I'm wearing today, and I love it because it bronzes the skin without being too orange. Like it's definitely warm, but it's not orange. I have a lot, I have a lot of bronzers that make me orange really quick, and this doesn't. So again, it is so pale princess friendly. I highly recommend you guys checking it out, and I think it's around ten or twelve dollars. So really not that bad. Next, I feel like it's something that is going to be in a lot of people favorites and it is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm so happy that they are coming out with new shades. I feel like Physicians Formula is finally starting to listen to all of us being like bring out more shades that aren't just for pale ass people. Like just do it. Um, Because I know their foundation has like a decent, their foundation that they just launched has a decent amount of shades and I know that they just launched more colors of the Butter Bronzer so hopefully if these colors that they first released didn't work for you, some of these new ones will. Let's freaking hope. But anyways, this bronzer is so beautiful. I like it because it's very, very buildable. Again, especially for pale people, um, bronzer can go real awry real quick, but this is just so beautiful. It smells so good and is so pretty. If you are very fair with like pink undertones, Oh, this bronzer is amazing on you. I used it on my friend Amanda. I will link that video down below where I do her makeup. And again, she's very fair and has like more pinky peach undertones to her. This bronzer just complimented her skin so nicely. It was beautiful on her and just warmed her skin up without making her look like Donald Trump. You know what I mean? It just is beautiful. And even I, again, I really like it for my skin tone. I just think it's beautiful. Woo! Okay, let's talk about highlight. Yeah. I feel like I discovered this this year, but I may be wrong. I feel like I discovered this year, this year, but I can't necessarily remember, but I'm going to talk about it anyways because it is amazing and it's like $3. And this is the Essence Pure Nude Highlight in the shade Be My Highlight. I don't think they have other shades. I may be wrong. This is the most gorgeous, like natural highlight. Oh my god, it's so pretty. It's just like a very, very neutral kind of champagne shade. Can you guys even see it? Um, it's just a neutral champagne shade and it looks so smooth on the skin like this formula looks like Becca on the skin It's not as reflective because again, it is a very natural highlight, but this is like a natural highlight This is a natural highlight, but it's not still there like it still highlights you. It's just not like a beaming like Fleeky lit from the gods highlight. You know what I mean? It's still a highlight, but it's just more natural that I should have, I could have just said that. Sometimes I just can't talk. Absolutely beautiful. It's like $4 from Essence. 100% recommend. Okay, these next couple items came out this year and they are such a good release. And they are the Milani Afterglow. Oh no. What are these called? Milani Instant Glow Powders, I think is what they called. This one is in Sun Glow. It's more of a warm kind of uh, gold shade and then this one is in afterglow and this one is a more pinky peach champagne shade these are like reflective i went through a phase where i literally would not use anything but these highlights they are so reflective so creamy buttery i love them and they're like they're like 10 bucks a piece but usually you can find them buy one get one half off so i got both of these for 15 bucks which i don't think is that bad especially for a really bomb freaking highlight these two I have just been loving. Let me know if there's another color that I need, but I just picked up pretty much the two palest ones that like one was warm and one was cool that I could find. Last highlight I have to talk about. It's relatively new to me, but I don't I don't I don't care. It's amazing. The BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlighting Palette. This kicked my Anastasia Nicole Guerrero glow kick out of the running for my 2017 favorites. This is amazing. I am wearing the shades right now. It is so smooth like if you have a problem with texture and highlight emphasizing texture get this palette it is so smooth I am wearing the shade glow right here which is just like this beautiful like yellowy shade I also love the shade vivid this pink shade and this shade right here called dream this one right here really reminds me of champagne pop and I love these pink ones oh and this shade right here is just like a straight up almost white 
white highlight that is amazing to lighten up any of these colors. So it's just so versatile. I actually have this shade popped like way at the very, very top of my cheekbone right here. And I'll do that a lot where I'll go in with one of these colors. And then I'll just pop a little bit of this color like right on the tip of my nose or on the high, high points of my cheeks just to kind of like make them pop even more. Oh, it's so good. Let's move on. So our face is done. Let's move on to eyes really quick. First, I just want to get this out of the way before I before I forget. Lashes. The favorite lashes. I'm sure you guys can guess them. My first favorite are the ones that I'm wearing right now, and they are the Kiss Foaming Lashes in the Style Gala. They are so, like, just... I don't know how you how you describe them. They're like kind of clumped together and they're kind of spidery, but they're so wispy and so thick. They're just like wispies on crack. They are so good. I'm doing like, doing like Lady Gaga hands. In the second, I will have a picture of right here because I actually don't have a pair in my collection right now. Um, and they are the Ardell Studio FX Demi Wispies. I love the regular wispies, but the Demi Wispies are my favorite because they're thicker on the outer portion. So if you have like almond shaped eyes, they'll just like, mm, or like, if you're trying to do like a winged liner look or anything like that to make your eyes look more elongated and a little bit more open oh my god they're so beautiful they're so comfortable i love love the ardell studio effects demi wispies so good okay let's let's keep with the theme of lashes i have one mascara to talk to you guys about and it is the essence the false lash extreme volume and curl one i think there's one that's orange and then this one is pink i like the pink one i haven't tried the orange one but i love the pink one this one is just the one that stood out to me the most i've tried a couple essence mascaras and a buxom mascara i really like my buxom mascara but i just like this one better and this is like four dollars it's so good it's nice because it really it's kind of a drier formula so it really builds up your lashes it gives me nice length and it also gives me nice volume. I have non-existent lashes so I literally need all the help that I can get and I really really like this mascara. Honestly I haven't used these a ton but I honest I think that these are like one of the coolest releases this year and it's from Steely Style. These are the liquid metals. I love these. There's another one that's like a rose gold but I just can't find it any anywhere. I am wearing this shade in guitar solo on my eyes right now and okay I haven't tried the Steel and Magnificent Metals but I feel like I don't need to because of these. Like, they're so easy to work with. It's just like a doe foot applicator. They don't crumble off your eyes. They stay really, really, really well. And they're just so pigmented and so glittery. I'm in love with these. And I think they're around $6 per, like, little thing. So definitely, if you, like, maybe don't want to spend, which I know I don't, I don't want to spend the money. I don't want to spend $24 on one single little tube of glittery stuff. Maybe try these. I want them to release more colors, though. I wish they had, like, maybe, like, a silver or like maybe like an iridescent kind of like champagne shade or something like that but these are so pretty they're like liquid eyeshadows with glitter in them and they're just so reflective and so much fun and again really really easy to use and affordable okay I have to shout out Colourpop single eyeshadows I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure they released their single eyeshadows this year when I was going back um like through my favorites videos I'm didn't see them before I think about February um at least that's when I picked them up they're so good you guys they are so good if you want single shadows that will pack a punch these are the shadows that you need these like I don't use these I use my makeup geek shades when I'm doing every day because my makeup geeks are still pigmented but they're more buildable and a little bit more forgiving these ones are like BAM! And it's like pigment. I'm wearing these three shades right here to blend out the black shadow. Um, I've used these shades like 107 times on my channel since I've gotten them. Um, just amazing. They're really affordable. They're five bucks a piece. Love them. I think they're amazing. So good. So buttery. So pigmented and yet easy to blend. But they like seriously, they seriously pack a punch. They are so beautifully pigmented. 10 out of 10. Love them. And then y'all know I love my Makeup Geek shades, but I had to talk about one shadow in particular because I don't think I've talked about it. I've talked about my Makeup Geek shades a million and five times. Y'all know I love Makeup Geek and I love their eyeshadows, but there's one color that I use again in my everyday life every single day, and it is this one right here called Tiki Hut, and it is just a beautiful. It's kind of got that like baby puke brown sort of vibes, but it's not nearly as yellow. It's just a beautiful 
tan eyeshadow and ev seriously every single day when I do just my everyday eyeshadow look I take this on a blending brush blend it through my through the crease and then just deepen it up a little bit more with the same color or sometimes I'll take a shade like cocoa bear like a warm brown to kind of just deepen it every day it's the perfect brown eyeshadow in my opinion tiki hut makeup geek eyeshadow so good makeup geek eyeshadows in general but Tiki Hut for this year. Okay, this video is going to be 40 minutes long. Sorry, not sorry. So let's move on to lips. I have quite a few lip products here. So we'll fir first start with lip liner, and I have two to talk about. They're both from Steely Style, and they are the Line and Seal Semi-Permanent Lip Liners. This one is in the shade Sand. This one was the one that came in my Kitty Snack collaboration with Steely Style. Again, thank you all so much to everybody who purchased that. That was so much fun and definitely a favorite of this year. Um, and then the other shade is in the shade Hamptons. Hamptons is like a beautiful kind of kind of like a mauvey pink nude. Absolutely amazing. And then Sand is just a really nice peachy nude. Sand is the lip liner that I am wearing right now and it's just it's just a really really good nude lip liner. That's pretty much it. These are really creamy. They last all day and they're super pigmented. I love them and they're like four bucks a piece or something. Next let's just keep with the theme of Steely Style. Again one of the items that came in my came in my Kitty Snacks favorites collection is the go to gloss in Uncovered. This is such a beautiful nude gloss. It like almost has iridescent shimmer to it. It smells so nice. It's just nice and thin, not sticky, and it's just a really good everyday, everyday gloss. I don't know how else to describe it. It has a good amount of pigment. That's it right there. Just a beautiful peachy nude gloss with almost like iridescent pinky kind of shimmers. So pretty. And then I have another lip gloss and this is the Buxom Lip Gloss in White Russian. Mmm, this lip gloss. I would say color-wise, these two are really, really similar. Um, this one is just a little bit more on the pink side of things as opposed to the peachy side of things. But the the, the formula, the, 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 the formula of this is just beautiful. I'm gonna put a little bit on. Oh, it just amps up any nude lip and has like. I really thought I wasn't going to like the like tingling sensation but it's just a nice little kind of minty tingle it feels so nice I love it love it it smells amazing it feels amazing on the lips and it's just a great super super shiny lip gloss if you want your lips to look wet for a really long time Buxom is your go-to. Next is the lipstick that I am wearing underneath the lip gloss on top of the lip liner and this one is one that I've talked about before. This is the NYX matte lipstick in the shade Sable. I've just been on the hunt for a very very good everyday nude lipstick and this is it. It is so beautiful. It's really comfortable. It's really forgiving so I can like put this on, take it off for lunch, reapply it. Like I can apply it with lip liner, I can apply it without lip liner. I could apply it like just like a thin amount. I can really like build it up and like carve out my lips with it. It's just beautiful it is matte but it's not uncomfortable or flaky or gross it's like four dollars I love this shade in particular I have a lot of them and I love a lot of them like especially some of the bold colors are so much fun and so pretty but the this nude in sable is my perfect nude I love it so much okay one more lip product and this is like this has been like my favorite when I want a bold dark lip and it is the it's the Wet n Wild Mega Cat Suit Lip Liquid Lipstick in the shade Goth Topic. This shade, y'all. This shade is the most rich, ready, purpley brown shade. Oh my gosh. Okay, I will say that the applicator is super messy, so definitely apply a lip liner before. But this is just such a cool color. It's just like, it's like a purpley red brown, super dark, super bold, almost black, but it is just so pretty. And like I said, this is my go-to when I want like a bold, dark, sexy, vampy, gothy lip. This is my go-to. I love it. And again, these are like $4. Last couple items are just like random items. So if you have had your fill of me and you're just like tired of me, you can shut it off because that's all pretty much the makeup products. But I have a couple other items that I want to talk to you about. First in the random bin is the Eco Tools Little Blending Sponge. Mine's dirty because I just used it. I love the sponge. I haven't bought a Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge in a really, really long time because I love the shape of this one. Usually I'll use this thicker side or this like longer side to 
apply my foundation and then I'll turn it around and use this side to like set my under eyes or bake. If I need to like blend a little bit more, you got a little button that you can blend out spots with. It's really soft and uh, the more you use it, definitely it does soften up more, but it's just so nice. It doesn't like break apart really easily. I love this blending sponge. And then I have to talk about KL polish. I love KL polish. Y'all know I'm, I'm not wearing acrylics right now, but for a hot second there, I had acrylics like all the time or I was like putting on my own fake nails and I just always wanted new pretty colors. I love KL polish formula. It really lasts a long time. I've worn it on my nails and on my toes and it lasts so well. The one color, I ha like you all have to get is that's what she said one it's an office reference so that's amazing two it's this amazing she describes it as a rose silver on your nails this seriously looks like one of those metallic powders you know that where you like rub the powder on and it looks like metallic or looks like mirror this is so shiny so amazing it looks like liquid metal on your nails this is my favorite nail polish ever and it's like eight dollars so not like crazy expensive but it's definitely not like I don't know I think I would pay eight dollars for this over and over and over and over again I love this nail polish so much it is vegan it's cruelty free it's like seven free so it's good for you nail polish so good I love this nail polish and then quickly I just really want to talk about my tattoo that I've gotten this year I've never really talked about it on my channel it, it was just one of those things where every like couple months in my tutorials I would have more added to my arm but I wanted to talk to you guys about it just in case any of you all were wondering so this is my half sleeve that I got done this year so okay this is gonna be awkward so this is my half sleeve that I got this year so there are marigolds there's a robin there's bleeding hearts and then if we turn it around here there's pansies which are my, like my favorite there's a bathtub and then there's a toilet. I will link the tattoo artist down below. Go check him out. He's such a sweetheart and he's so talented. But I wanted to kind of share the story with you guys behind my half sleeve because I figured you guys might be interested. And like I said, I haven't talked about it on my channel. This is themed like my parents' backyard. I have so many memories of my parents' backyard. My parents' backyard was always just filled with like random knickknacks and so many flowers there was a like when I was in elementary school every single year for Mother's Day my dad would take out his flatbed truck and we would go to like Lowe's or Home Depot and like fill it up with flowers and then we would go home and we'd plant all the flowers for my mom in her garden and there were always marigolds which is why I have marigold right here and then there's another one right here there were always pansies which I have some pansies surrounding the robin right here and a bleeding heart we always had this bush of bleeding hearts just all these flowers just mean so much to me because they remind me of home and the toilet in the bathtub my mom actually had an old school red toilet in one of her little garden areas so it was just like such an iconic thing for my house it was just like oh lady's house there's the red toilet in the backyard and then she has a couple different bathtubs that she uses as planters back there too and then the robin I remember waking up every single morning even when I go over there and stay the night now I always get woken up by the same exact song and I remember when I was younger I asked my mom I was like mom like what kind of bird is that and I can like still hear it in my head every single morning got w woken up to the exact same song like the exact same bird song and she was like oh like those are the robins and so I wanted to get a robin tattoo because I was just that is like when I hear that it just reminds me of like spring and summer at my parents house and it just warms my heart so that is my half sleeve. I do plan on expanding it upwards and doing some more stuff like because this one is more centered around like more my mom even though it, this is my mom and my dad like they both worked so hard on their garden um, but I do want to expand it a little bit more and do some more like kind of inside jokes with me and my dad so that has been a huge favorite I doubt he's watching this but Shay if you are watching thank you so much because you made my tattoo dreams come true I love it so 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 much and that's the story behind my tattoo and those are let's, let's get this situation back back in check 
And those are my 2017 beauty favorites. So comment down below. Do you share any favorites? Is there anything that you think I absolutely need to try in 2018? I hope you guys all had a fun and safe New Year's and Happy New Year. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!